Okay, I'm going to try to explain the most cataclysmic year in human history in as little time frame as I possibly can. It's 5.36, a huge volcanic eruption happens. Potentially four volcanoes were to blame, but that's debatable. Anyway, ash completely fills the sky. It's like night night for a whole year, potentially 18 months. Michael the Syrian stated, um, the sun has died and will never return. So picture moonlight through a fog. That's kind of the light we're talking about. So the major issue with that, other than it being much colder, was photosynthesis. There was none. The plants, they died. And if the plants are dead, that equals no food. Mass global famine. No food. So everyone was starving to death and freezing to death, just depending on where on the planet they were at the time. As if this was not enough. A plague breaks out, the Justinian plague. It makes COVID look so cute. This plague, you essentially would break out in boils, like pus filled boils all over your body until you couldn't no longer walk. And then once you were at that stage, they would explode. And so you would essentially die from this like loss of pus. So they started ordering people to take the dead bodies out of the city. But the problem is that the living people would then be infected by the plague just from moving the dead bodies. So they just left them and, and they just rotted and it stunk like shit. I guarantee it. 50 million people died just from that plague. There was only estimated 2 million people at that stage in life. That's a quarter of the population just from the Justinian plague alone. Meanwhile, in China, it's, it's raining ash, yellow ash. They called it Hui. And then it started snowing. So you got the ash snow and then the real snow. Um, again, widespread famine, completely malnourished. And so everyone was more susceptible to viruses and bacteria. And there were a lot of them going around. It's estimated that 80% of the human population died in this year alone. Like 80% of us just gone. And the climate change weather events has also been termed the Little Ice Age. So yeah, that's, that's why 536 has been voted the worst year to be alive.